Thank for that. The big mover in the broader markets is Star and Power. It's now up almost 10% if you're wondering why Vivek is here to give us the lowdown. Vivek, over to you. Well, absolutely right. You know, it's been a very strong set uh, by the company. You know, there's been uh, broad-based growth across most of the verticals, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, so, profitability is high, but almost... 86% on a year-on-year -year basis and margins too despite that has come in quite strong at 22.4% against 24.8% uh, last year, last time around. Uh, what is it that has led to the strong growth? Uh, in fact, you know, there was a gas trading gain of close to 400 crore in this particular quarter that aided the bottom line. And when you're talking about the growth scene, for the EBITDA contribution came in from all of the segments. So gas-based part trading business, uh, uh, you know, the renewables business, the distribution license, as well as the franchisee business, all of them aided. <laughs> In fact, HDFC Securities has come out with a note. What they're saying is that, you know, it's been a good set of uh, results by the company. Sturdy grain from the LNG trading has actually aided the profitability. Also, uh, there has been some significant uh, positive news coming in as far as reduction in the franchisee, you know, T&D losses. Again, this is something that they're seeing quite positively. Increased contribution from the existing distribution circles as well as the newer circle of Dadra and Nagar Haveli. And what they're saying is that the LNG business should continue to do quite well. The only setback is the under uh, utilized uh, you know gas based power plants that the company still has that's the only drawback but otherwise a very strong set of results from torrent power this time around okay thanks a lot for that well the other stock that we're looking at this morning is bharat forge now brokerages are cautious post the earnings that have come through for bharat forge and hence the stock is down six percent nomura has downgraded the stock to a neutral their target price is still higher at about 992 rupees but they say that there is a cyclical slowdown in the traditional businesses this will be offset by a good growth in defense in the non-auto business as well but the biggest pain point for bharat forge is the overseas subsidiaries continue to see losses and that's a big drag the stock is also trading at around 14 times FY25 EV to EBITDA. The valuations are fair, is what Nomura believes. City has a sell with a target price of 690 rupees. They say that the disappointment on the overseas subsidies continues. The losses have expanded quarter on quarter, but the management is optimistic. They say that there are multiple tailwinds for revenue and profit growth in FY24. But cautious views coming in on Bharat Forge. The stock is down almost 6%. Let's slip into a quick break. On the other side, it's our special segment. It's the economy. Lata will connect with Samiran Chakraborty, the chief economist India at City. Girish Kosgi, the MD and CEO of PNB Housing Finance. And Sandeep Runwal, the MD of Runwal, to decode the CPI 